Hey Aries, so I am just making, uh, doing short little videos for love readings. As you guys know, Pluto is still retrograde and I was doing like some personals and I was like, you know what, let me tap in for the collective and see what's what. Uh, you guys know that the complete love readings are um, offered on Patreon. $7.77 gives you access to bi-weekly love readings for all signs um, and all the, the, the videos that I've already posted over there. $7.77 a month um, for you to access all of those. So this is going to be quick and brief. All right. So take what resonates, leave what does not. And let's get into it. So guys, it looks like we have a uh, feminine energy who is kind of ending a cycle. She's coming out of a cycle. Um, she may have either been settling for something for a situation or a relationship with a certain person here, but it's like the blinders have come off. This person is seeing and knowing their value, taking their power back from a situation here and just looking at something from a different perspective. Some of you could have been in a space where, like I said, not only were you settling, but you felt disempowered by a relationship. Some of you may be seeing or feeling like, okay, maybe I rushed into something with this person or um, there was just more for me to know and I feel like something's been revealed where you are seeing where either you deceived yourself or this person lied to you. Either way, you are having this new, fresh beginning, this new start. And yeah, that's a really good space and place to be in. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you guys could have red hair as well. Don't have to be, don't have to have red hair. Don't even have to be young, but you may be younger than your partner or, um, yeah. That's the case. We also have here the dark male. Usually when I get this card, this dark male, it could be someone who is brown skin like that, right? With that curly hair or whatever. Or when I get this card and it says darker, more, rather darker than lighter. When I get this card, I often look at it from an energetic standpoint, not necessarily the physical features. Um, so this is somebody who kind of oper operates in their lower selves, right? <laughs> their lower vibrational energy. Um, this could be someone that you have or had kids with, um, who you may have either tried to kind of force a relationship with, or they may have tried to force a relationship with you. Either way though, this person feels like it was a karmic situation meant to teach you something, but this is somebody who was not learning, who was not growing, who was not like stepping into the role of leadership that they were supposed to be in. And so this is a door that's been closed. However, as a result of this closure, this ending, this separation, I feel like you guys are truly loving yourselves. You're stepping into your own energy. You're growing. You're surrounding yourself with more positive vibes, more positive energy. And it's like you are really learning to nurture, love, and pour into yourself as a result of it. It seems almost like you are shifting your focus or your attention and focusing on what it is that is truly valuable to you. And that's going to be self-love, um, positive energy, positive vibes, your actual happiness. Okay. So that's a really good energy, a really good lesson to have learned and a really good path of rebirth to be on. Um, that's the extent of this reading. I hope this was helpful, Aries. Bye-bye.